on board. Thanks for the feedback that you want to learn even the third conditional. The third conditional, the nightmare of every English learner. But you know what? It's really easy. It's super easy. Just watch this. We're talking now. We've, we've been discussing the first conditional, the second. And today is time for the third conditional. Guess what? How do we start? Right, with if. If we had invested more time For research, we could have achieved better results. With the if, what is the if again? 100% sure or 50% sure? 50% sure. Very good. So, now you see the major verb here is past perfect. Remember, the past perfect actually is our time window that shows the origin of whatever has happened. It's the origin. It's sort of like Adam and Eve of human mankind or whatever you're talking about. This is the past perfect. At the very beginning of whatever followed, that is the past perfect. Maybe we should do a past perfect session, huh? <laughs> there we go. So, we have here the 50% the past perfect, if we had invested more time, have we invested more time? No. Basically, what I'm saying, we did not invest more time, which makes our past perfect a hypothesis of me. Sorry, I'm going to cut that. A hypothesis about So basically, Anza, if we had invested more time for research, well, we did not invest more time. We actually didn't invest enough time to be exact. Critique. Critique about the origin of whatever has followed. So, and then on Cyan, here we have the code should please check out on the second conditional again the same meaning in its uh, uh, actual form we could have achieved better results basically what I'm using here is the present perfect and remember present perfect always shows us Whoa, look, I have been to the United States and I love it. It always shows an effect, it's somehow an effect on now. It somehow always affects us now. And the same thing here in our third condition. We could have achieved better results. And what I'm saying, well, the results we have achieved are really next to nothing. Basically, 
Libya already as a warning. We could have achieved better results. So what I'm saying, well, look, don't be surprised. And we have such bad results because we really, we really had not had enough time to, to do any proper research on this. So basically, this is really a complaint about something that ha happened in the past and has caused us now so many issues. That is the main meaning of the third condition. Of course, you can use low sign and positive way, but we usually use it as a critique on whatever has caused the misery we're in now. That is the meaning and the application of the third conditional. Now, guess how the question goes? Right. We're starting with the second part. Again, remember, never mix up the if part and the would, could, should part. It's all the same in all conditionals, right? So, our question goes like that. You see, we're starting in the question with the could, would, should. Now, this here is a typical question of a big daddy, a boss, talking to one of his most experienced people, asking, look, Joe, could we have achieved more results or better results if we had invested more time? Oops, I think it was better results. <laughs> Okay, so this is a typical question of a big daddy. Could we ask in his professional, his most experienced members, that could we have achieved better results if we had invested more times? And then the hour of truth is coming. Yes, sir, absolutely. So, you see, with the third conditional, we're talking, here we're really talking about a past action. So, any more questions? We could uh, give another example. Another example. Okay. <laughs> uh, wife talking to her husband. If you had booked that trip to Honolulu, we could have spent the time in the sunshine. You see, she's come back and she wanted to have some time in the sunshine. Oh, like that. If you had booked, well, you hadn't booked, and this is now they're sitting out in the park in the rain. So that would be another typical example of where we could use it. Uh, another one? If you had not eaten so much chocolate, you could have really enjoyed this yummy food. The kid ate too much chocolate in spite of a warning, maybe, you know? And now he's sitting there in front of his yummy steak and french fries and, and salad and he can't eat. If you had not eaten any chocolate, you could have eaten your yummy food now. Well, the kid can because it's full of chocolate. So basically, the first conditional, you're not sure. It could be, it could be not that you have more time. We're talking possibilities. Exactly. The second conditional is, it would be nice to have more time. Uh, That's when you use it. Exactly. If we had more time, that means you don't, but you would like to have. Uh-huh, exactly. And the third one you use to show that this happened because you didn't have enough time. Exactly. What the, was the cause of something happening? Uh-huh, exactly, Rafa, that's it. Exactly. Okay. Okay, well, thank you very much. And thank you to you guys out there. Thanks for joining us again. Remember to like and remember to subscribe for more. And thanks again for the encouragement after a long pause. Thanks, bye.